So it's the um, late 80s, and I'm single, I'm living in LA, I'm cool, I live in my man cave, and I'm just fine with that. And uh, then, through a wrong phone number, I meet this beautiful young woman who is smart and funny. And the next thing I know, it's two months later, and we are driving through Italy together. Um, and the car is due in 15 minutes as we enter Florence. It's at the end of the week. We've got 15 minutes to get to the car rental place. And so we got to find a place to stay. we got our suitcases, and I look up and I see this sign, and it says Pension, and it's on the side of the building. And so we stop, we double park the car, we rush up there, we, uh, and I say to the lady behind the counter, Signora, vogliamo una stanza per la notte? And of course, that excites this young lady, and that's why I said it. Uh, what, that means, <laughs> what that means is, uh, you know, we like a room for the night, and she says, you know, this one, and we go and we look, and it's beautiful, it's got a bath, it's got dark wood furniture, and we... We uh, take our suitcases, we set them down. I say, what else do you need? Here are the passports. She said, I'll check you in. I grab a card off the counter, which has a, the name of the pension and, the, and a map on it, you know, on the, on the back. And we dash down and we get to the car rental place. It's one minute to six. And now we're alone together in Florence. And it's late afternoon and the sun is setting and it's orange over the Duomo and it's blue in the mountains in the distance and we're having gelatos together and I get to say more Italian words like chocolata. <laughs> and, um, and, um, and then we come to the um, Ponte Vecchio, you know, the old bridge from medieval times uh, where there are these stalls and she's looking at pocketbooks and leather and this and that and I sneak off and I decide I'm going to buy this this little ring is kind of a joke, just a little amber ring, and I don't know what I'll do with it. I was, you know, passing the time, I guess. And, uh, and, um, and then we decide, well, we should head to the pension. So I see that it's on Piazza Independenza, and uh, we sort of ask directions, you know, which way is it, it's that way, and we finally, we get to it, and um, it's confusing because on the card it says there's a Via Marsala, off the piazza, and I'm looking around, I can't find it, I'm sort of turning it around, and we're circling the, the square, and I start to ask people, and nobody has heard of this street, it's very odd. And then I ask this, uh, this older Italian lady, you know, in the sort of green dress and those thick black shoes that look like they'd really hurt if she kicked you with them, and, uh, and, and she's got her hair tied back and a little mustache. And, um, and she looks at the card, and she says, Signore, this pension is in Rome. So we deposited our suitcases and passports in a place where we don't know where it is and we have no idea what its name is. So I see her looking at me, this, uh, she's my girlfriend, I'm using that term now, and she's, her eyes are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, towards mine like a machine gun, and I'm thinking, is this panic, or I'm not sure what? And I, so I say what anyone would say, let's go have a beer. <laughs> and we, there's, a, there's a hotel right there across the street from the piazza, and I remember there was a uh, like fresco in the ceiling, and suddenly the art is all looking like it's mad at me. It's like one of these Roman goddesses <laughs> looking down like, with like drumsticks in her hand. It looks like she's giving me the bird, and I, everything turned suddenly dark. Her. And uh, we sit down at the table and the waiter comes and I tell him the story. I don't know why exactly. And he's very worried. And he goes off <laughs> and he comes back with our two beers and also with a little catalog about that thick, which has a listing of the name of every hotel and pension and bed and breakfast in Florence. And he says, why don't you look through this? <laughs> That's kind of like being given, you know, looking for somebody's phone number in the phone book, but you don't know their name. <laughs> um, so um, I say to her, well, right, look, this is what we're going to do. We're not going to, like, say, oh, maybe it's that one, maybe it's that one, because that'll mess up our, our memory. Now, when, I, when we first saw that pension sign, I think the name was at the top, but, you know, you sort of look at it for a millisecond, and... We were hoping that somewhere in our memories this thing would appear somehow. So we're going to go through, and we, and we go through letter by letter, A's, B's, C's. I, th I thought maybe it began with an E, and we went through the E's with nothing. So we get to the end, 
And um, she says to me, I say to her, well, did you see anything? And she says, nope. And, I, and she, she says, did you see anything? And I said, it was maybe one that had the hint of a ghost of a wisp of a chance, that maybe it was that. I, I, it was San Elegido. So we look up the address and we make our way there, which took quite a while, and we, we come around the corner. We come around the corner and that was it. We see the sign. It was like salvation. Uh, because one of the things she liked about me was how confident I was. <laughs> So I, I was naturally worried. Um, and she threw her arms around me and kissed me. And, and we went upstairs and she took a bath, because there was a bath. And uh, we asked the lady if there was any, by this time it was quite late, and we said, is there anywhere we can eat? And she said, well, the only place is across the street, this little cafe, Barbieri it was called. And uh, we went down, it was kind of like, uh, below the street, uh, street level, and the, the motif in there was um, caves. And I'm thinking, my man cave. Uh, I should get out, I should stay in, uh, what's, this, what's this mean? So um, I order champagne, and this delights her, and I take out the ring, and I say, um, after this little adventure we've been through, would you marry me? And she says, yes. Thank you.